Well guys, here we are with an 100 volt tutorial for the Ryzen 7 5800X. Now, why are we doing this? Well, you might recognize a little sound, an annoying sound coming from our CPU cooler. That's because it's literally dying and it's going straight at 90 degrees without any kind of load. So, here's how you fix all your temperature issues, increase the performance a little bit and reduce how much your PC draws with this undervolted tutorial. And yes, it's gonna work even if you have a better cooler. Let's go in the BIOS. Well, you guys, hopefully you will ignore my fan that's dying in the background because we are at 73 degrees in the BIOS, but let's go ahead and let's fix this. So how do we do that? We get in the BIOS, into the advanced mode, and then you wanna go in a section that's called extreme tweaker or overclocking or tuning or extreme tuning or something like that, depending on the motherboard vendor. Now, once you're here, you wanna go on AI overclocking tuner or basically um, BIOS explore mode, it might be called, and you wanna basically enable your XMP, which is the DOCP, which makes your RAM go at the proper speed. Now, once you've done that, you wanna find something that's called CPU core ratio. Now, if you wanna just follow the tutorial, do it like this. CPU core ratio, you input 40, then you go down, until you find something that's called CPU core voltage or V core and you put manual mode or override mode depending on your motherboard and here you put 1.025 right there at this point you hit F10 you close the BIOS and you have finished the tutorial and this thing will stop screaming however if you want more performance you're gonna want to increase the CPU core ratio now in my personal experience with the 5800X you can go as high as 4.4 without compromising the performance too much. This is gonna give you 10% more performance compared to the previous one. However, you're gonna need to increase the voltage, which is gonna result in a slight increase in temperatures, but still much better than stock. And now if you have a very good CPU, you might be able to do 1.15. For most of you, I recommend 1.175. For those of you who are unlucky, if you test this and if it doesn't work, put 1.2 and you are fine. Now, this is for most of you. I recommend this for gaming and for productivity. But if you are one of those people who are pretty happy with the CPU doing its turbo boost and you don't want to lose it, I don't recommend precision boost overdrive, but I do recommend to do as follows. You go into CPU core ratio, you put it on auto, and then you go into CPU core voltage and you put offset mode, you select a negative sign, and you put 0.05 and this is going to decrease your temperature while keeping the same performance and actually allowing the CPU to boost a bit higher so giving you a bit better sustained performance. If this was helpful please drop a like and a sub. This will work for any AMD motherboard X370, X570, X470, B450, B550 etc and I have many more tutorials on the page on the channel. So see you next one, drop a like and a sub. Bye!